summer months often lead to heat and humidity, which can be a problem for patients who have respiratory diseases such as asthma. The stagnant air very often will trap pollens, dust, and mold. And for many patients who have asthma, these are triggers of their allergic asthma. The other thing is that very often the heat and humidity itself can cause constriction or narrowing of the airways and make it difficult for patients with asthma. And in addition, unfortunately, especially in the United States, I'm sure you're aware of the fact that we're having wildfires, and the wildfires and the smoke can travel for long, long distances. And as a result, patients can have response to the, the irritants that are the result of the smoke from the fires. Now, what can you do? Well, obviously, if it's heat and humidity outdoors, you might want to stay indoors and have a dehumidifier and an air conditioner on to keep the air cool. In addition, uh, you may want to also be taking clear liquids and especially cold liquids that will help to keep yourself hydrated. Check with your doctor in terms of any medications that you might need and of course stay on your regular medications during the summer months. In addition, your doctor may want to change the asthma action plan to help adjust to the changes that are occurring in the environment. So enjoy the summer, but be aware of the fact that increased triggers for patients who have asthma may, may occur in the heat and the humidity.